Today, Gatsby will be trying some more dog-friendly fruits and vegetables for the first time. Are you ready for round three? Instead of giving Gatsby the raw ones, I made some steamed ones. He's deliciously eating it. Will he go for the second? Polite. Good dog. Gatsby gives the asparagus a high score. You ready for the next one? Sliced and de-seeded the pear for Gatsby. You can tell Gatsby doesn't like this as much as the asparagus. That's still yummy, right? Gatsby probably gives that about a 7 out of 10. There you go. Can I try? Gatsby doesn't really like sweet fruit that much, so we'll see how he likes this. He's like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> Gatsby came around on the banana. Probably give that like a 7.5. Next one. That crunch is so satisfying. Eat it so deliciously, Gatsby. Was that good? Peeled one and made sure there's no seeds. <laughs> it's too sour for you? Gatsby's like, eh, nope. I don't like this. I don't like cuties. Steam some zucchini slices. He likes that. Gatsby loves his vegetables. Gatsby, take this one. Come. Please, sir, I'd like some more. <laughs> Gatsby's just tearing it up. He's not actually eating it, if you notice. He's like, nah, that doesn't taste good. That doesn't taste good. How about the stem? It's bitter. <laughs> no. He doesn't like it. Good enough to go for seconds? Gatsby's like, okay, I see your point. It's not that great. He's like, eh, it's okay. I'd give it a six. How about if it's cooked? Gatsby's like, don't try to trick me. That's not food. No. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll just keep eating it since you're feeding it to me. Is that yummy? Okay, I guess he did like it. <laughs> He'd give it like an 8 out of 10. He's like, what is this? Yeah, he's like, I'm done. Hey, I tried them. <laughs> Gatsby's like, nope. Is that good? Please, more, more. I must have it, look at his eyes. Do you see why everyone loves it, Gatsby? Okay, that's all you get. <laughs> Trying to eat the pumpkin? Here's the pure pumpkin puree form. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's so yummy. This is the best one. So good. You did it, Gatsby, you completed it. I think Gatsby's favorite was definitely the pumpkin followed by the avocado and then the sugar snap peas. This time his least favorite was definitely the mushrooms, then clementines, and then cranberries. Shall we start the vlog?
It's finally here. The Corgi on Fleet 2018 calendars. That's the perfect way to brighten your entire year. I mean, look how happy Gatsby is. I spent the past few months working very hard on making sure that the pictures look incredible. And I am so happy with how they turned out. I mean, look at that. There is another poster included inside of this calendar and I thought I would reveal it to you guys right now. Check it out. Oh. Keep calm, Corgi on. So while you're waiting for 2018 to start, you can hang up the poster. Woo. And this year again for the ultimate vlog after college fan, we are doing a limited run of signed calendars by both me as well as Gatsby. Last year he signed with his left paw, this year he's signing with his right. However, it is incredibly time consuming and a long process to get Gatsby's paw print onto the calendar. I just did a small batch over here and this took me over an hour to do. So I'm not going to be making too many signed calendars this year. So if you want one, make sure you grab one. Jack, Queen, King, Ace, and I play the Corgi. It's an automatic win. That's right, the Corgi card t-shirt that I've been wearing in the past few vlogs is also available for purchase. And for the first time, we're also doing youth sizes as well as double extra large for adults. Believe it or not, I've been working on the shirt design since May. I'm so happy to finally have it released. Everything in this shop is free shipping. So at the end of the vlog, make sure to go to CorgiOnFleek.com. I have a few more announcements, but I will reveal them a little bit later in the vlog. Let's continue on with the day. And before we head off to the gym, we gotta take Gatsby out to potty. Get dressed. Gatsby's mission, go potty. Looks like someone's ready to go potty. Good job, Batman. Fist bump. Listen up, everyone. We have been just informed that there's an unknown virus that's attacking all Korgs. Symptoms have been said to be heavy breathing, wild dancing, Korging. So when you hear this sound, Corgi Korgs, run for cover, Corgi doggies. <laughs> I've been so backlogged on mail, I thought I would just open a few packages right now. By the way, thanks to Victoria Lee for this Pikachu plush from the set lips from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Hello, Ryan and Gatsby. We just wanted to send Gatsby a few Halloween treats. We hope he likes them. Hi, Gatsby. Enjoy your gift and happy Halloween from Lexi. It's a Porg, the new character from Star Wars. He has a crinkly belly. Here Ryan and Gatsby, my name is Carly and I'm from Iowa City. I especially love your cooking vlogs and your aquarium vlogs. But we have time for one more. Francine and Steven from Whittier, California. My favorite candy! Check it out! Ooh. Dental 100% human grade fish skin shoes. I'll give you a small one because you already had lots of food today. Is it really that good? I think I'll stick to the Sour Patch. But I guess Corgis like it. Thank you so much you guys for sending us stuff. Now let's take a quick look in the aquarium. Time to feed the fish some blood worms. I just noticed that this flame angel has a weird eye. See that eye there? What's going on? There might have been a drop in water quality. Some of my euphilia coral, the waving ones, just decided to die. I think I'm gonna have to do a water change or test the water to see what's going on. However, some of the other corals are doing just fine. My sunset montipora is actually growing off the plug, which is really nice and starting to encrust the rocks. And that is your aquarium update. Hey Gatsby, are you a fan of The Wolves? The new song by Selena Gomez? Selena Gomez? Do you have a fetish for her love? How about Bad Liar? Gatsby's just not a fan of Selena, huh? And now I thought I would share with you guys my favorite photo from the calendar. Gatsby's enjoying all of his new toys he has. Gatsby looks so cool in that shot. <laughs> Getting a photo like this is actually a lot of hard work and requires a lot of luck. One of the things that we didn't really realize is that when dogs shake off the water, they don't really want to be near people. What they do is when they're all wet, they like to run away. They don't tend to look directly forward. They look like down at the ground. There was a lot of luck that went into getting this shot, especially to make sure that Gatsby is hitting his mark and we get a shot of him looking really cool and refreshed. I also wanted to share with you guys a few other merchandise things. First off, if you buy the 2018 calendar, I made an option where you can add on the 2017 collector's calendar for only $2.50 while supplies last. So if you don't have this calendar, 
and you can't wait to start using this one, you can buy this one and use this one for a few months and then keep the awesome poster inside. Next up, all the colors are back in stock. Pastel pink, pastel blue, and the charcoal hat. And for the holiday season, I'm adding maroon. And last but not least, as I mentioned before, we have our Corky Vinyl Stickers. These are super awesome weatherproof stickers. They can handle the rain, water, heat. They look super cool on your thermos. And you can either buy an individual vinyl sticker or save and buy the sticker pack. And when you buy the sticker pack, you also get a random collectible photo. I want the collectible photo. And don't forget, you can also get these awesome Gatsby Corky t-shirts. And so that is all the stuff I've been working on for the past few months. Can't believe it's finally gonna be out for all of you guys to enjoy. Is it time to go to the park? Over to the mall to grab some Panda Express for dinner because we're gonna be cooking some dessert later on. Chow mein, vegetables, string bean chicken, orange chicken, and a side of teriyaki chicken. I haven't made dessert in a while, so that's why I thought we would do it. We're gonna make some pumpkin cookies. By the way, the recipe is from Gimme Some Oven. I'll put the link in the description below. Set the oven at 350 degrees. In one bowl, we're gonna whisk together two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, and half a teaspoon of salt. Mmm, this is dry ingredients right now. Set this aside. And then a separate bowl. One stick of softened butter, one cup of sugar, and half a cup of brown sugar. Okay, now we add one and a quarter cups of our pumpkin puree, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we slowly fold in the dry ingredients. Okay, there we go. We got our cookie dough. Gatsby's just watching. I'm just using a ladle because that's all I have. We're making the cookies. We just need to shape them the way that we want. They're more like cake. Okay, let's stick them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. That was easy enough. Now let's work on the cream cheese frosting. In a bowl, we'll add a packet of light cream cheese, three tablespoons of softened butter, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then gradually add two cups of powdered sugar, which seems like a lot. I think I might do less. Okay, I think that's good enough for me. I only use three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. Ooh. Check those out. We're gonna let them cool until room temperature with a wire rack. We're so lucky, Gatsby. Okay, the cookies have been cooled down to room temperature. Time to ice them. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 da, da, dun, dun. Dun, 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 da, da, dun, dun. There it is, pumpkin pie cookie. Oh my God. Cream cheese frosting with pumpkin is amazing. My only complaint, this feels more like a cake or like a brownie than an actual cookie. It tastes so good. <sighs> My neighbors are really gonna like me today. I wanna thank all of these awesome fans right over here for posting their pictures with their Corky on Fleek merchandise. Woo, you guys are awesome. When the new merchandise comes in, make sure to take a picture with your Corky on Fleek card t-shirts or post a picture with you holding up your favorite photo from the calendar. I wanna see what you got. Make sure to tag me on it, as well as Corgi on Fleet, and you might be featured in the next vlog. Did you have a good time trying out all those dog-friendly fruit and vegetables? He didn't have a stomach ache or anything, so that was good. And so thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and make sure to check out CorgiOnFleet.com for all the new merch. Go there right now, right now, right now, right now.